guys, how's it going? I'm back on a roll with another 10 metal bands you haven't heard but should. Um, I put out a lot of videos fairly recently, so that's pretty cool. Um, first up, some classic heavy metal in the form of Wolfsbane. Shadow Kingdom Records put out their 1981 and 82 demos as sort of their two demos as a sort of compilation, I guess. Some really good classic heavy metal if you like stuff like Angel Witch and um that era of bands from the UK, then Wolfsbane or Wolfbane, sorry, there's another band called Wolfsbane. I'm sure there's many. Um, this is Wolfbane. And check out that killer artwork, it's just great. Pretty sure that's done in pencil. Um, or maybe paint, I don't know. But it's really cool, kind of cringy, old school, long live new wave British heavy metal. Next up, another band that I consider quite classic, although this is a slightly later release. This was the Hell's Headbangers 2016 version. Hobbs' Angel of Death, of course. Um, Hobbs died recently, very sadly. Big influence on the Australian scene. In fact, when I saw Destroyer 666 in October, they dedicated Trial by Fire to Mr. Hobbs, and it was very fitting, and I think quite an emotional thing, especially for like Keith and stuff who were... Uh, part of the Australian scene, Angel of Death is just a great project, pure old school thrash in the vein of early Sodom, creator, destruction with a slightly blackened edge and um, yeah definitely I think a really important thing to check out and it couldn't have come at a more fitting time that I got hold of some of his material or their material as he's recently died so I think definitely it's important that we keep his legacy alive and keep playing Angel of Death records. Next up, a couple things that were sent to me by my buddy uh, Marcin. I'm sure that's not how you say it, my Polish is horrible, but from Analog Ragnarok Records. Um, first up, Misanthropic Rage from Poland. Absolutely killer, slightly avant-garde black metal. I, ju I recently reviewed this on my blog. I really like this. Um, it's full-length album. It's really haunting and dissonant and weird. It's sort of if you're familiar with the UK band Voices, it's similar to that with some touches of Blue Tail Snord and uh, maybe even some Anal Nathrak, or that earlier sound anyway, thrown in there. It's really aggressive, really unhinged, and just really cool, messed up black metal. So if you like that kind of stuff, which Poland seems to be a hotbed for, then check out Misanthropic Rage on Analog Ragnarok alongside their label mates, Realm of Wolves. I think they're Hungarian. They're from sort of... Um, one of the Slavic stroke Baltic countries. Um, it's much more depressive, some kind of shoegazy stuff going on, but it's still, you know, got some ripping guitar work, some evil soundscapes. It's really haunting. Quite the opposite of the other release, I think, with it being more kind of stripped back and melancholic, but it's still really good stuff. Kind of weird. Colour, tape, I think we all know that kind of looks like frozen semen, but... It's really cool. Um, I really like Realm of Wolves as well. So, massive thanks to Analog Ragnarok for sending me these two tapes. I've really enjoyed both. Next up, oh shit, what order have I put these in? Ah, yes. From um, a double release from two of my favourite labels, Testimony and Sentient Horror. And I fucked that up. The new Sentient Horror from Testimony Records and Redefining Darkness Records, depending whether you're in the US or Europe. This is just really good, old school, Swedish style groovy, punchy, catchy, death metal, amazing artwork. I like these touches of blue that actually kind of look like gas. If you have like a gas cooker, kind of looks like that. I think it's really amazing cover. Very Dan Seagrave-y, but it wasn't done by Dan Seagrave. It was done by, well, that's going to be a hard name to say, Juanjo Castellano, I think. Um, very Latin name. But anyway, Sentient Horror is just killer, old school. Entombed, Dismember, Carnage, Grave, Nihilist, that vein of death metal, going on strong, another one of these releases, just keeping that sound alive and kicking, really enjoyed this one. Next up, um, this was sent to me by uh, Schwarz Records, and it is The Death Trip, a UK overall band, I guess, but um, also Norwegian, um, featuring members like um, from the Dead Hands Guard, and um, shit what else? Is Good Heinz Scarred. Um, I'm pretty sure it has a uh, Dan from, I think his name is from Blasphemer. And, you know, I'm gonna have to check this now. Um, 
Oh yeah, it doesn't actually have the um, full band listing, I don't think. But anyway, I, I digress. This is some really good kind of mournful, weird, kind of disturbing black metal. It's not really avant-garde, I guess. It's more just quite strange and progressive and unique. And I think it's a really cool release. I think it's very different. And I haven't really seen many people talk about this, which surprises me because it's nice hearing, you know, these kinds of bands uh, take black metal in a new direction, but it still very much has a traditional feel at the heart of it. Um, so yeah, check out The Death Trip if you like some kind of weirder, but still quite old school black metal. Now a release from 97, I think, yeah, the year before I was born actually. Um, this is one of those releases, I guess it's a kind of bigger label, a older release of course, by a band that's not really active, but a release that you just do not see people talk about, and I'm talking about Obtained Enslavement, this is Witchcraft, they did uh, four albums I think, really haunting savage raw black metal from Norway with um, some nice symphonic touches, nothing kind of lame or weak or just flamboyant I guess but just some nice dungeon synthy edges, probably the funniest uh, promo photos, I adore these. Um, yeah some Peaceful Records, really classic album and I think one that is probably in not so many collections as it should be, I mean I only got it recently so I'm sort of testament to that fact. Next up, probably the most obscure thing on any of these videos, maybe. Something I found in Beatniks Records here in Norwich, UK. Um, I liked the cover, and I bought it, and I wasn't disappointed. This is Trollcraft from Grimsby, UK, which, you know, is already quite a swampy start to things. But um, it's on Cosmic Tomb Records. It's a three-track demo of black metal infused with sludgy, doomy stuff. It's old school, murky, kind of rehearsal type quality. It's, I'm not actually sure when it came out. I think it was like 2011, something like that. I don't think they're really active anymore, but it's a really good demo. Um, it's pleasantly surprised. I think I paid like two pounds for it, which again, bit dollars, probably three bucks or euros or whatever. So took a chance on it, thought it was really cool. You can find the stuff on YouTube and uh, probably like an old MySpace page or something kicking around. If you see this demo floating around, I think there's 50 in existence it's very tightly packed um something like that like 20 or 50 or something do grab it because i think it's really cool next up uh a double recommendation of finnish black metal very raw very evil as the finnish always do stuff um if you follow me on instagram these next two could have been a hint to you earlier on primitive reaction records we have black beast and bloodhammer both Finnish bands, both really nasty, raw, old school. Um, I've, if you've seen the uh, Rauta interview with Black Beast, they are very much about keeping the old school Finnish spirit and nasty, aggressive feel of the bands or the country's black metal propagators, I guess is the right word, alive and strong. They're clearly very devoted to their craft. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel. They're just trying to play pure evil black metal. And, of course, the same can be said for Bloodhammer. Um, it's a really good split. Black Beast, of course, have come back from hiatus with a new record, which is name has completely escaped me. It's really good anyway. I reviewed it. Um, but, yeah, definitely a cool split to have. I was quite happy to find that from uh, Tourstrieb, which is, uh, however you say that, Tourstrieb, Toadstribe, um, whatever the fuck it's called. It's a UK-based label. And now, Witchbones. Absolutely killer. Full length release, Iron Bonehead record, or production, sorry. They've put out some tapes and stuff on Death Cult Productions, and this full length is just majestic, murky, evil, maritime, I guess would be the right word. Um, war metal. It's really horrible, and I really like it. I was just spinning this now, and I think it's really cool. Similar vein as uh, Cult of Extinction, I think. Um, their label mates, I really like this. And again, I think that this is, there's been a few on this list, I think, kind of overlooked bands and projects, and I think that may be one. It's just come out December the 6th, I think, so it's very new. And I think people have already made their ends of year lists, like myself. And uh, yeah, they, they sort of 
may have slipped by the radar, kind of like Sulfur Aeon did, like, was it last year, or even the year before, I can't remember, but, um, yeah, definitely check out Witchbones, killer release, as were all of these, um, hope you guys have enjoyed this one, I may be a bit quiet now, coming up to the Yule and New Year's period, um, I have to obviously dedicate money to that, and I haven't ordered anything else, this is, I'm only weighing on one thing in the mail, which is a gift from a friend, so, that's basically, me done for maybe a week or two, maybe more. We shall see how much stuff I buy. It's probably a lot, it always is. Thank you for watching this vlog, and I hope you guys find some new music as always. Um, if you want to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, any of that stuff, it's always appreciated. If not, then it was nice knowing you. Take care, stay metal, and until next time.